The verse number three. Amen. We just thank God for Jeremiah. We thank God for his word today. Jeremiah chapter three, th chapter 33, verse three. Let us read this verse together. Call, Call unto me, me, and I will answer thee, thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Amen. I want to talk on a thought today entitled, Call, and I will answer. Call, and I will answer. My brothers and my sisters, as followers of Jesus Christ, we must learn to communicate with God even more as we see the found days approaching. We must communicate to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. How do we communicate? We communicate by using prayer. Prayer is the vehicle for our dialogue with God. Mm -hmm. When we go to God, we have to understand that He is the one who created us, not we ourselves. He created us. Amen. Amen. We must communicate daily through prayer. Every day we ought to pray. We ought to pray to God because the Bible lets us know how important prayer is. The importance of it because it speaks about 250 times about the importance of prayer in the scripture. Prayer, it gives us a chance to express our, when we kneel down, stand up, or whatever format we might use, it gives us a chance to express our gratitude for all of the things that God provides for us. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, we ought to thank God for his provision yes. for us. We shouldn't take things for granted, but we ought to thank God for his provision. Prayer, it puts us in a place where we can confess even our sins. Yes. One thing we must realize, when we do confess our sins, it lines us back up with God. Yes. Come on, come on. That prayer is an act of worship. We ought to enjoy God when we pray. And it's also an act of obedience because God said man ought to always pray and faint not. Father prayer is a way to acknowledge who is really in control of our, our lives. It puts God in control. It removes our hands and it puts the focus back on our controller, which is God. My brothers and my sisters, we need to pray because of life changing circumstances. In fact, because of the ups and the downs of life. Have you noticed that things can go so quickly from good to bad? Amen. To worse in a very short period of time. You could be doing well and all of a sudden something happened in your life. That's why God, he calls us to bring our concerns, our problems, our heartaches, our pains, to bring them to him. Now sometimes we refuse, we fail to do what God has instructed us to do and sometimes I, I'm, I'm guilty as well as all of us I feel like you might not but I feel like I am sometimes we talk to people too much yes. Yes. when we ought to be talking to the Lord yes. Yes. we'll have a witness here anybody that's sharing some secret stuff within you and you told a friend and before you can tell it get it out real good somebody else knew what was going on in your life. But if we pray and talk to God in secret, God will reward us openly. God also calls us to share. We need to learn to share our joys and our triumphs. The victories that God has given to us. We need to talk about it. Share. Not boast, but talk. 
not talk us up, but talk God up about his goodness. Here in Sunday school, we have to realize that all that we have, uh, we didn't do it ourselves, but it was God. That's yes. simple, that's plain. We all did. Amen. Say it was God. It's not me, but it's God. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 33. It says these words. God is talking to Jeremiah. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Jesus. We talked about that yesterday. We had a prayer session here yesterday. And this verse came out, and it's in God. Uh, laid on my heart to bring it back today and, and show the great and mighty things with the S. Listen to the conclusion of the scripture verse that says, which thou knowest not. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, through prayer, God, he reveals hidden things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when we pray God, he, he reveals some stuff to us that we never seen before. God wants us to call on him so that he can answer our prayer. Yes. God, he wants us to share. He wants to share with us incredible blessings mm -hmm. that only come through prayer. I know how it is sometimes. We feel like, well, our friends can help us and, and, and maybe they got to hook up. They can help us. But now, have you ever dealt with a person who could hook you up and wouldn't hook you up? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You want an eternal hook up. Yeah. We have to learn to pray. Yeah. All right. And you see, because the man hook you up and, and, and you start progressing too much, That's right. man might get a little envious. Yeah. Tell everybody, they wouldn't be where they had if it wasn't for me. All right. Mm -hmm. But when God raises us up, yeah. come on. Amen. He deserves the glory. James 4 and 8 it says, to all Christians that are born again, it says, draw now to God. And it says, He will draw now to you. Yes. Yeah, that's what it's speaking. It says, and then it says, cleanse your hands. Mm -hmm. Other words, purify, get them, get them clean. For the Lord, he sinners. And, and, and purify your hearts. You double mind. God wants us to change. He, some things we have to do. Uh -huh. Right now. Amen. We, 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 God, he ain't going to do everything. Some things we have to do. Yes. Right. Amen. You know, we, we talked about that yesterday. A double mind person is a person that, you know how we get sometimes, you know, we, we fired up on Sunday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then on Monday when a little trouble comes. You know, we, we just like, you know, we kind of go this way, you know, just each side. We're not stable. God wants us to be stable yes, in, in, in our thinking. And we ought to believe God, not just on Sunday, but we ought to believe God every day of our life. Yes. Anybody with me today? Yes. Yeah, God, well, you know, he, he wants to cleanse uh, our hands and he calls us, I don't care how saved we are, he still addresses us, James addresses us as sinners. Yeah. He said, purify your hearts, get them clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so church, God, he wants us to come closer to him. And we, we must understand because God wants us to come closer to him, the devil wants us to stay divine. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. God is drawing. Satan is trying to push us away. Yes. So prayer, prayer, it brings us closer. Now how can the church, how can Red Hill or any church get closer to God? Simple strategy. Ain't nothing complicated. It's called prayer meeting Bible study. Amen. We want to draw closer to God. We need to assemble together. Well, I ain't gonna look at nobody because I, we, we, I count my numbers. I, I know who come and who don't come, but I'm not gonna look. Man. I don't know what the problem is. I, I, I'm not a great teacher, so you can't put it on me. We, I'm asking you to help teach. All right. Amen. So, prayer meeting and Bible study, Sunday school. I know we're grown now. I know we got some age on us, and we feel like we don't have to go. Maybe we obtain so much. In our youth. Amen. And we feel like we don't need it now. But, 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 but we ought to be willing. Amen. To 
draw closer to God as we see the day approaching. So Sunday school preach boy. Can I get some support, Superintendent? Amen. It's a good way of drawing closer to God. Amen. We're gonna try it sometime. Get up. We got first shift. We on time. Step on my own toes. Out. Got second shift. We on time. Third shift. We on time. But on Sunday, preach boy. I'm preaching here. Preach to myself. Sunday. Get sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't sleeping on Monday, but Sunday. <laughs> Have to be there at 7 o'clock on Sunday. Ain't got to be here until 9.45 and we get sleeping. <laughs> Let's go back to Bible study, y'all. <laughs> what time? Some folks don't even know what time Bible study starts. <laughs> Been in the church 140 years, they don't know what time <laughs> Bible study starts. So my brothers and my sisters, we should, should hide Amen. Because God has been good to us, we, we shouldn't hide or have secrets in expressing our gratitude. Jesus. We ought to come if God's been good. We ought to come and every now and then and testify about how good God has been to us. Yeah, yeah, I believe that God's goodness. If he's been good to us, that we all, especially as Christians, that we all to express it on a regular basis. Amen. Should nobody have to start a Christian's fire because the Holy Ghost ought to already be in our hearts. Well, maybe sometimes, amen, the service. It might get a little low. Uh -huh. And it seemed like uh, the fire. Jesus. Amen. It ain't burning like it ought to burn. You know how we All say, right. well, it was, you know, that Sunday the, the Spirit of God was high, but this Sunday the Spirit of God ain't too high. You know why, don't you? <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with the Spirit of God. It's got something to do with our mood swing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, help me somebody. So if the fire might not be high on a certain Sunday. All right. And if you and I are children of God, every now and then, y'all might have preach my own theory. I, I feel like if I'm saved and you are saved. But we are talking about the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Something ought to break out. Yes. You know how it was. I know forgive me. Mommy says, boy, don't cut no big piece of wood to try to start a fire. Cut some kindling, you know, cut it real thin. So when you put a little paper, mm -hmm. right. amen. And you know, I, I want that thing to start sometimes too quick. Mr. Gasoline and somebody else saw it and might have tried it. You see, one thing about gasoline and to make it burn too fast. <laughs> but every now and then, all right now, all right. Christians ought to have a man something that keep the fire. Something that makes the fire start burning in God's house. Yeah. 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 Psalm 9 and 1 he said these words that God, it was good because God let him write it in the manuscript. He said, I will praise thee. Mm -hmm. It says, oh Lord, with my whole heart, yeah. with every chamber that runs in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I will show for all the marvelous works. Mm -hmm. Evidently, God has been good to him because he said, all of the mob 
one thing but things.
against sin. Yes. God said, Jeremiah, let me tell you now. You're going to be attacked. Yes. But they won't be able to kill you. All right. That's right. They can't destroy you. Because I got my spirit. Jesus. Anybody in here today? Come on. Anybody in here got the spirit of the Lord? Uh,
you may call me and I may be knocked out. Yeah. Well, I told her the other day, she said, the other night, she said, honey, you were snowing. I didn't think I was snowing. That's all right. Uh, amen. But you call him, he never sleep. Right. Don't slump, baby. Amen. Call him. Amen. Don't call me. He might say, wait, what are you doing? Pastor, Pastor, yeah. Pastor, can you do that? I'm like, I don't even know who, who are you, who are you? But God. He's always alert in your life. He's always alert. Yeah. Let me tell you something. God's getting ready to bless you. Yeah. If you know God's getting ready to bless you, yeah. act like you, God. <laughs> hey man, I'm acting like I know you're gonna bless me because He said, "I'll never leave you." Yeah. Mama's gone. Daddy's gone. Sister's brother's gone. But God said, "I'll never leave you." Somebody Come on, the door of the church. My soul is happy. 